Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here and welcome to today's video. Today's video is entitled Why Millions Are Not Switching to Linux. I wish people on YouTube who make YouTube content would fucking stop trying to kid themselves and kid the whole planet that the average Windows user can just dump Windows and go to Linux. Please fucking stop. You're doing Linux a disservice. You're doing ordinary Windows users an utter disservice. Why am I so pissed off at YouTube content creators? Okay, so I see so many YouTube content creators recommending Linux operating systems for new users when they themselves don't have the first flying fucking clue what they're talking about. So I see so many YouTubers recommend elementary OS as the perfect X Windows brand new to Linux users desktop operating system. So like me, you've got yourself an old Core 2 Duo machine that's not going to be compatible with the future update of Microsoft Windows 11. So you watch one of these YouTubers' channels, they recommend elementary OS to you, you download it, you burn it to a USB thumb drive, you don't back your fucking data up off of Windows, and you go ahead and you install elementary OS. You sit there with baited breath while it installs and when the desktop finally comes up, you're absolutely fucked. Right? Elementary OS is a very locked down Linux desktop operating system designed to make the user operate within a specific framework, thereby protecting the operating system from the user. So in a nutshell, it's designed to stop you fucking the operating system up through playing, tinkering and installing shit. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? No, it's your worst fucking nightmare as a brand new over to Linux X Windows user or Mac for that point. So the first thing I've done is downloaded and installed elementary OS. The only thing I've done is installed a wallpaper and a couple of apps so I could make this video. First things first, let's open the web browser <coughs> and the supplied web browser by elementary is this one. It's fantastic. It won't even fucking display a page. What is even fucking worse is elementary OS will not allow me to change the display from 1920 to 1080 to 1280 by 720. Why? Because the option's not there. And this crock of shit won't even display a web page. Won't even display Google. So at this point, without doing anything else, your user is reaching for his Windows 10 or 11 USB thumb drive, regretting the day that he installed this pile of shit. And of course, he forgot to back up all his favorites in his web browser, all his files, all his pictures, all his music. That shit's all gone. It's been erased. So YouTubers, please stop doing Linux and Windows users a disservice. The majority of Windows users are not able to migrate and upgrade, yes you heard me right, upgrade to Linux. So stop fucking telling them to. Because all you're doing is ingesting a shitload of misery and then a button of hate for the Linux operating system. So, back to my rant. Elementary OS. 
anybody who downloads this and thinks that they're going to have a beautiful time is in fucking Fantasyville. So let's go to the display. The display is 1920 by 1080 but because I've had a stroke, I want 1280 by 720. Not fucking there. Doesn't exist. Why? I'm using a standard AMD Raiden 2GB graphics card. Why the fuck is 1280 by 720 not there? Fucking ridiculous in 2024. So anybody that recommends Elementary OS, and this is, I believe, 7.1, as a new user operating system, don't. Because the web browser is an absolute crock of shit. There you go. Doesn't work at all. <clears throat> Won't even fucking display a page. So, of what fucking use is that? Secondly, the system is so locked down, you can't... New users wouldn't have a fucking clue how to install anything. And thirdly, the display resolution that I want to use is not available. So fuck you, elementary. Fuck you right up the jacksy. So I thought, well, okay. What do I actually need to make this a functional operating system? Well, all I really need is Google Chrome. Google Chrome on a Core 2 Duo will allow me to do 99.9% .9 of the stuff that I want to do. So the first thing that I did was open a terminal window and type in sudo apt install Firefox. And it duly obliged and brought down Firefox. But it brought Firefox down as a fucking snap. Well done. Gold fucking star. So your new user thinks, well, that's okay. I'm only going to use Firefox to get hold of Google Chrome. So let's go to Google Chrome. Let's download this big boy because this is all we need, right? 64-bit, accept and install. <clears throat> get Google Chrome for Linux. And there it comes. It's downloading like a further mocker. Beautiful. And it's a .deb file. So right out the bat, it should be a piece of piss to install for your brand new cold Windows user. So we open the file manager. We're getting excited now. We go to downloads. There's the file. We double click on it. And it says, fuck off. Here you go, it wants to extract it. Now, if at this point, <laughs> if your cold Windows user actually gets to this point, I guarantee your Windows is back on the PC, minus all their lost files, like a mofo. Just saying. What most people won't tell you is you need to go to the App Center and you need to install a utility like Eddie. No apps found, really. For fuck's sakes. So if you install Eddie, uh, hello, can I install Eddie? Is there an install button? Uh, it's in, really, fuck me, this is shit, fucking dearie me, it wants me to pay five dollars, does it, how about, fuck off, $5. Fuck off. Or $1, $5, $10. you got to be shitting me, ain't you? 
Oh, oh my fucking god. So here's another Linux operating system that's demanding fucking money off of us before we start. Okay, let's try a sudo apt install gdebby. I can't fucking read this. I can't read this at all. Do you want to continue? Yes, please. Fuck's sakes. <sighs> and you wonder why Linux is not being taken up by millions. Fucking roll on. You know, and YouTubers out there are recommending this shit to brand new Windows users. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Just stop. Think before you open your fucking mouth and make a video. Because you're doing the whole planet a serious disservice. You know, I mean, a brand new user over to Linux from Windows would never have heard of GDB, let alone know how to install it. And this is a common mistake that a lot of YouTubers make. They assume that, like them, everybody's got the fucking knowledge and they haven't they just haven't and it just does my head in open with g debbie there we go oh there we go fuck me we didn't have to pay anything for it it's all completely free fuck me you gotta love paywalls in linux and then every everybody wonders why no bastards coming over to Linux. Uh, it's no surprise, is it, with all these assholes on YouTube recommending this shit. I mean, get a fucking grip, people. Do you actually use this shit yourselves? It's no good running out and installing Linux on, you know, a new machine and then telling the world how wonderful it is. Did that install? I don't think it fucking did, did it? Uh, I can't even see G Debbie there. Maybe it intervened and stopped to install him because, well, he doesn't want you to install it, does it? <coughs> Maybe it needs sudo rights. I don't know. Me, I mean, really, right now, install the fucker and it won't, will it? Fuck's sakes, sudo G debit. Oh, this video is turning into a nightmare. No. Uh, okay. Sudo so gdebby hyphen gtk. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go open. Home. Oh no, it's not allowing me to see. Downloads, fuck's sakes. Where the fuck? Oh, God. So, I don't even know if this is going to work. As you can see, your normal Windows user wouldn't have even got this far. They wouldn't have a fucking clue, even if they're quite tech savvy, because Linux is not Windows. There we go. Now it's going to install, because it wanted sudo privileges. For fuck's sakes. <coughs> so... Just to get Elementary OS installed 
and get Google Chrome down for your average user is your worst fucking nightmare on Elm Street. And we have YouTube content creators out there recommending elementary OS left, right, mid and centre. Fucking stop it. Just stop it. I don't even know if it's installed it. I really don't. Installation complete. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Yeah, it's saying it's installed it. Mm. Well, we'll see. Forced to quit. That probably means I fucked it. Let's see if Google Chrome is installed and will run. This is already a super long video, which most of you won't have got to this length in the video viewing it anyway. Uh, actually, we can make Google the default. Yes, please. Fucking hell. And there we go, Google Chrome is at least installed and up and running. We don't want to sign into Chrome, fuck off. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so we've managed to get Google Chrome installed. Your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill ho-hum user wouldn't even have got this far. And now we can finally get rid of that crock of shit. So, elementary OS, I 100 billion percent do not recommend this for new users over to Linux. It is a good operating system, but it's very much a delicacy in the Linux world. So again, all your average everyday run-of-the-mill ho-hum YouTubers, Windows fanboys, and Linux enthusiasts stop fucking recommending elementary OS to would-be Linux users who are on Windows. Because all you're going to do is frighten them the fuck away from Linux forever. And there are certain things in life you can't unlearn, you can't unsee, and you can't un unexperience. Elementary OS is one of them. <laughs> so fucking stop it thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up or down i will see you for another wicked broken ebes video